Despite the dirt that surrounds and trails you, a beacon of light emerges from deep within you. The door stands silent. Satisfied, detective? Try again. Just like that, you hear a click, then a rattle. Some mechanism unlocks itself inside the door. Ahoy! Come on in! You can't be serious. Mr. Diodor, I am Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi of the RCM, and this is my partner. I can assure you, Mr. Diodor, that despite his vices, he is a competent detective. Oh, don't you worry, Lieutenant. I can tell a good man when I see one. Ah, 
traveling. This is a great way to get around. It's fun, it's safe, and it gives me lots of time to think. By the way, let me now ask you a question. Where are we exactly? I remember walking its streets as a teenager. There used to be a bowling alley in Stella Mares. I wonder if it's still there. It's a shame I can't get out and explore myself. One of the downsides of being an extremely high net worth individual is that mobs of low net worth individuals are constantly banding together to ask for money. There simply aren't enough hours a day to hand out all the handouts. It's like feeding seagulls. They are always more and they never seem to do anything interesting with it. Except more seagulls. Spending money is a matter of desire. I'm sure you agree. I don't have the desire for spending it like that. Smart, no? It also provides a means to hide from all the targeted advertising we extremely high net worth individuals are constantly subjected to. Luxury yachts, high fidelity portable radio systems, fail proof outdoor, and so on. It just gets a bit middle class after a while. A bit bourgeois. Don't get me wrong, they are nice things, but once you achieve a certain level of wealth, your time and mental space become much more important than material goods. What? No, I did not say that at all. Being rich is great, but just don't tell anyone I told you that. To be perfectly blunt, I inherited my fortune from my grandmother, who herself was an extremely high net worth individual back in Grad. All I did was take her fortune and invest it prudently. Believe it or not, it takes more than a bit of skill not to blow a vast fortune on sailing boats, bad choices, and unsupervised state policy. And blow. to tell you, at first, being rich is a lot of work. You got to work hard because everything's so darn expensive. You know, prices increase exponentially at this income level. But then, once you've reached my position, it's nearly impossible for me not to make money. My assets are so diversified that I'm bound to come out ahead no matter what. Some of my lower net worth friends say to me, but doesn't that take all the fun out of it? And I tell them, not really. when I buy things to stimulate the economy. Do you know how many jobs it takes to build and maintain a racing yacht?
this. Of course, in the future, it will all be automated. But my point is this. Every man gets what he earns. It's the height of tyranny to take that from him. Capital makes one speechless, does it not? Blinds like the sun that rises from beyond the horizon after a gloomy winter. Hey, hey, all this talk about money has made you lose the thread. What is going on with the light in this place? That's what you need to ask him about. What do you mean? 